roast duck breast is something we often see on this show. Sour plums to give it the sort of sweet sourness. And then he pops in a lotus root and the bok choy. And then he mixes that with a veal jus, but with rice wine. I can only assume that he has the experience to be able to deliver this confidently, because if he didn't know what he was doing, he'd be a properly crazy man. Raspberry souffle with cream cheese ice cream center. Wow. But the key to a souffle is it rising. Now, when you've got this big blob of frozen ice cream, is that going to stop the souffle from rising? In my head as a chef, I think it could. <laughs> It's a very risky thing to do. I've been dreaming of how, how this recipe goes. I know everything off by heart, so let's just hope it works well on a day. There's no excuses. You just have to get it right. The great thing about MasterChef Professionals is that we have a chance to see the freshest talent. We get the chance to eat it first. What I want to see today is someone that I can say to all the other critics, I was there before you. It does feel like we're going through a bit of a golden age for British food at the moment. And it'll be interesting to see whether that's reflected in the food that we are served today. These chefs can cook whatever they like. So I don't think that they should feel restricted, because certainly we have open minds, believe it or not. We just want to have good food. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Cheers. Nice. <laughs> Luke, 15 minutes till your first course is served. Yes, chef. The problem with scallops is you've got to be really careful to cook them right not to overcook them and not to have too much butter sloshing around because they can be over rich. That phrase, coastal herbs, mm -hmm. there's something that just sings, doesn't it? I don't even know what coastal herbs are, but I'm sold. I want to see them. You've got seven minutes to go. How are you doing? Just searing off my scallops and then I'm going to start plating. So you're on time? <sighs> At the moment. I like the fact that the puff rice is going to introduce potentially a bit of texture and bite to it. What's left to go on the plate, then? So I've got some puff rice to go on, and I've got some little sea vegetables to go on as well. Just going to finish the plate with. It's looking good, Luke. You happy? Um, at the moment, I'm happy, Chef. We're almost there, Luke. Let's yeah, get going. Smile, Luke, smile. I'm always smiling, Chef. <laughs> So here we got um, hand dyed scallops with fennel puree, puff rice, finger limes, and a little Asian dressing with coastal herbs on it as well. What are your coastal herbs? Uh, we got sea purslane and some wild samphire. Cheers, thank you. I rather like the way that it looks. I think that he really does think about what he's, what he's doing. The scallop itself is quite well cooked. There's a bit of charred scallop on the edge. I mean, it's beautifully tender on the inside. I loved the puree. I thought it was delicate. You know, the tiny, delicately placed pieces of samphire, they worked for me. The puffed rice, that little crunch that they provide, is really good offsetting the, the, the softness of the scallops. He's done a really good job with the scallop. The seaweed adds a lovely flavour. Everything is there for a reason. The rice brings this texture that it needs because there's a lot of soft elements. It's, it's lovely, a real pleasure to eat this mm. plate of food. Roast duck breast is something we often see on this show. Sour plums to give it the sort of sweet sourness. And then he pops in a lotus root and the bok choy. And then he mixes that with a veal jus, but with rice wine. I can only assume that he has the experience 
to be able to deliver this confidently, because if he didn't know what he was doing, he'd be a properly crazy man. Luke, you've got about three minutes. You're looking very calm and, and, and collected here. Just trying to concentrate, get it all finished. Are you feeling happy? Uh, so far, so good. Right, let's go, come on. Very nice. So we've got a uh, seared duck with a sticky honey soy sauce five spice glaze, and then a, a sweet potato, sour plums, lotus root, and a rice wine sauce. Thank you. The duck, oh, it looks so good. It's sort of glistening and it looks pink. This is a fabulous looking plate of food. This is a great dish. The duck has been cooked perfectly. The bok choy, I love the presentation like these beautiful little green parcels of fun. I would definitely eat the whole thing. The main note I'm getting from the spicing is Chinese five spice. And then a little sharpness from those sour plums and then the crunch of the fried lotus root. And then you've got this gorgeous, really well flavored jus, which sort of is anchoring the whole thing and every individual component is done well. The duck is cooked wonderfully, and that glaze is sticky. It's not too sweet. It's got the right amount of soy coming through. Deep fried lotus, delicious, crispy, crunchy, adds texture. The pak choy brings freshness to the plate. I think this is great. I think I'm all right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was a lot of pressure there. I've done the best I can, um, and hopefully it all pays off. Right, Michelle, you've got 15 minutes for your first course. Lovely. You going to be ready? Uh, yeah. Sh should be ready, yeah. Sh should. Should, should. Good. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be a curry, is it? It's going to be a piece of lamb coated in Caribbean curry spicing. So, presumably something quite fiery, based around a Scotch bonnet, chilli. People, when they come to cook on MasterChef for us, they're scared to give us something feisty. They're scared to give us heat. They're scared to give us tons of spice. So please prove me wrong, Michelle. Michelle, you've got four minutes for your first course. Are you happy with the cooking of your lamb? Yeah, I am. It's nice and pink, and it's got the spices on there as well. How long did you say I had, sorry? Uh, a minute or so. We need to get a bit of a move on. Yes. Do you have a sauce with this? No, I've kind of just got like um, a lime dressing. I'm happy with this. I'm going to take it through now. OK. Good luck. Thank you. I've made for you a curried spiced uh, cannon of lamb, curried roast cauliflower, some other variations of cauliflower with lime, with a mango and scotch bonnet salsa, and sweet potato and ginger puree. Thank you, I hope you enjoy it. You've got a kind of curried dry rub on the lamb, which absolutely transforms it. And I'm really liking that sweet potato puree as well, which is gorgeous. The lamb is cooked OK. It's all right. There's a bit of mango, which is quite nice in there. Adds a bit of a surprise in terms of the texture. The only saving grace is that there is this scotch bonnet, which gives it a bit of spice. William, did you sleep enough last night? Because you seem uh -huh. grumpy. I loved everything that she did here. I loved the cauliflower, especially the more charred one. I thought that that was absolutely lovely. Yes, Michelle? Yes. 
I think the lamb is beautifully cooked. And I love the spices that go around the outside of it. I love the mango and I, I love the scotch bonnet. There's a warmth in this dish that's really interesting. The, the sweet potato puree of the ginger uh, is divine. Uh, and then you've got the little uh, curried cauliflower. Still got some texture on it. It's delicious.